You walk through that and oh my goodness, the backpack is still there. I'm gonna take a beat. I'm gonna take a minute. I'm gonna assess what is happening. What is he doing? Let's say for example, he's watching TV with no words this time. I'm gonna say that again. with no words this time because words can be like gasoline in this situation. I'm gonna walk over, get the remote, pause is better than power, so pause if you can. And I'm gonna hit pause on that TV. I've said nothing. Pause and start to walk away. What's he gonna do? Turn that back on, idiot, stupid, I was watching that show, right? Guys, hear me on this. As he escalates, in no way am I gonna rise up to meet him. Turn that back on, idiot. I told you three times to pick up your backpack and you still haven't done it. I'm not doing this. If my goal is healing, and my goal is to pour into the life of this child, when he gets here, I'm staying down here. And in fact, the higher he gets, the lower I get. Meaning, the louder he yells, the lower my voice is gonna be. Turn that back on, bud. I'll be happy to turn that back on. Man, I just need you to pick up that backpack real quick. Now, in that instance, it is highly likely that he is very aggressively and violently going to arise from his chair, snatch the backpack up off the floor, and throw it somewhere in the vicinity of where it belongs. This is where y'all are gonna hate me for just a minute. In the beginning, we're gonna be okay with that. The backpack got picked up. I'm gonna hit play and I'm gonna put the remote down and I'm gonna go about my day because the need at hand was completed. Now I'm not affirming that behavior because it was done very disrespectfully and inappropriately. I'm not saying, oh, good job, high five, I'm so proud of you. But I'm understanding that these kids are coming from hard and that it's going to be a pro 